What's happening folks? Welcome to another episode of Street Notes. If you haven't been here before, the purpose of this series is to document my process of shooting street photography, as well as to show people the failures and the lessons that I learn on the way to getting the pictures that I actually like. So early in the day as I'm getting started, I like to just shoot random things, uh, just to sort of, it's almost like a warm up, kind of get into the swing of things. Uh, this was a reflection, it didn't really turn out to be anything, but it, it's, uh, it's a start. This together sign is something that I always see and I've never really came up with anything good here. And same on the other side of it, this person walks past and it, it's nothing, doesn't work out, but again, warm up shots and uh, it's better to shoot something than nothing. You'll see I'm carrying this Starbucks cup uh, because this is the first day that I realized Starbucks will just give you free water if you ask for it. Here's another one where I'm playing with the glass and reflections, but it's there's nothing close enough and uh, the light's not good on it either, so moving on. This patch of light looked interesting. Normally I'm looking for front lit, but playing a little bit with a backlit scene here. The shadows could be kind of interesting, but in this case it's not working for me. This corner here has a person, I don't know what they're carrying through there, but there were various colours here. However, I didn't frame it quick enough and I cut off the person with the kind of bluish green top and it's, it doesn't, doesn't really work out. Moving across the street, there's this beautiful light that falls into this building quite regularly actually, but there's very rarely anybody going in or out of it, so these flowers will have to do for now. This is on Larimer Street, a spot you might have seen in many other videos. Uh, last time I realised that these uh, sort of umbrella, straw type umbrella things could make a good element within a scene, so I'm getting close and trying to work them, and I switched to the other side this time because the sun was coming from behind me and the scene was a bit too busy on the other side. But as this guy walks through, he sort of flips his hair and the plasticky straw parasol thing blows in just the right way to just sort of reveal his face there. And it's almost like this whole thing is his hair or something like that. I'm not really sure. I just kind of like the abstract nature of it and having the, the person in there helps. Yes, I know he's, I've cut his feet off or whatever, and uh, people who are kind of picky about compositions will complain about that, but it, this doesn't really bother me. Um, I, think it, I think it looks pretty good. There's some nice light outside Union Station. I'm kind of hanging around to see if anything good passes through. It's not really working for me at first though. I do realize that the light is hitting these dome things quite interestingly. So I move around here to see if I can figure something out, maybe use it as uh, just a shape within the frame to add some layers. And when this guy walks through, I think he's like putting his phone in his back pocket or doing some sort of gesture there with it. And I quite like that. I think the light is nice, the colors are good. And the, you know, the guy's wearing white, so his hat and t-shirt is well defined. And there's just something about the position that he's in that I think is interesting. There's a guy on the right side fills the frame out and then there's the American flag on the left side. But yeah, I like this one. The colours are good. Hanging on this corner, what I should have done was just went up and took the photo of that guy on that lamppost straight away. But I waited to try and get someone else to come in the frame and then he disappeared. I hang around on this corner for quite a while. I'm waiting on someone to come through and complete the scene or something interesting to happen. It's getting a little frustrating and I'm definitely getting noticed by people because we're just like chilling on this corner. These people passing through start pointing at something. So I tried to shoot it a little bit. I missed the guy pointing, really he was bringing his hand back down. But the other lady do is doing a gesture and the person behind them is gesturing as well. However, the right side of the frame is cluttered up with people. And even on the left side, they're all kind of overlapping each other. So that annoys me. And I just don't have a good angle with the light either. So it's just, it's not quite there. Across the street a little bit, I guess for kind of a break from that other corner that I was on, waiting for people to pass by. 
and as luck would have it, one of the first people to go by were taking their glasses off right in that patch of sunlight. And I love this, I think, uh, I think it worked out really well. The gesture is perfectly contained within the light there, so you can see everything is defined by it. I like the silhouette and I, li I like the, the shadow of the leaves on the other side. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this picture, I think it's cool. I kept working this for a little while because I did not realise that I would have that I liked the first picture as much. This lady starts pointing but it's too much in the shadows so it doesn't really work out. Been waiting for someone with a blue shirt to come along so I could get all the primary colours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This photo face board thing, one of the, I don't know what they're called, the board things that you put your face in to take pictures at the other side. We're in a kind of a quiet corner of the street and I decided I would hang for a second to see if someone appeared. And someone did pull up and get dropped off in this car, so I tried to use them. However, they're wearing black and it's a black car and it just didn't, they didn't really show up very well and they were still a little bit far away from my liking. I didn't really want to leave this scene until I'd gotten someone walking along the curb. There were two people that walked past, so I just framed it and waited for them to walk through. And this one worked out well. I think the girl on the left is, well, both of them are in like proper and full step. And so is the Sasquatch on the right. So there's that kind of mimicking of the gestures from the, from the advertisement to, to the people walking through. And I quite like that one. At the start of this day of shooting, I, to be honest, thought that I wasn't, I thought it was going to be a real tough day and the city seemed a little bit quiet and so I wasn't too pumped about it. But as it went on, the light got a little bit better and even though there was a slight lack of action, there was still a few good spots and a few good moments where I was able to make something that I liked. I think in particular, my favourite was the that one brick wall with the shadows on it and the person passing through taking off their glasses. That was very unexpected. I was just trying stuff. I was, I was like, this isn't going to do anything, but I'll, you know, I'll sit here for a second and just see if someone passes by. My friends were behind me talking and I got that gesture made the entire picture because otherwise it's a fairly boring wall and without the gesture, it's just people passing through. So pretty pleased with that one as well as the one with the, I don't know what it's called, the umbrella with the, <laughs> with with the straw, it's not real straw, like plasticky looking umbrella tassel things. Um, I really liked that one as well. That was a surprise because the wind was just blowing it up and down. So it was kind of potluck uh, that that happened and I just happened to be shooting as it was blowing around. And I'm keeping doing this with my hand and it makes me, it's making me self-conscious now. And now the sun's coming out. So I don't know if that's gonna, that's, oh dear. Is that gonna be too bright? Is that too bright? And I quite like that last photo as well, but I don't know, it's, there's something about it that's not my favourite. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought. And I will see you in the next video. I know I promised that uh, in this video would be one of my favourite pictures ever, but there was enough footage that I think is actually going to be in the next video. So you might have to wait a little bit longer for for that one. Not, again, I don't think anybody but me cares about it that much, but I'm going to hold on to it a bit longer. All right, cheers. Cheers.